Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell below. You get all the updates. Um, very, I don't know if excited is the word, um, hopeful that I enjoy this beer today. Um, it is Sam Adams Utopia, so you probably knew that already based on the title of this, the picture, <laughs> what's in front of you, what's in front of me. Um, yeah, so I pulled the trigger again. Uh, this will be the fourth vintage that I've been able to uh, buy. Um, it'll be the fifth one I've had. Um, after that first one, I just uh, had it and I liked it so much and I've kind of been chasing that dragon, if you will. Um, because of how expensive and rare this is, I'm going to try to do a longer review, you know, read some of the paperwork and things like that. So if you just wanted the uh, beer review, fast forward, totally cool with me, obviously. Um, so, uh, yeah, we got it in my area. Uh, it was right around $200, which I think is pretty typical. Um, I think we got like 15 of them. So, you know, I guess relatively easy for me to get one. Um, right off the bat, the box looks different than it usually does. Um, here, I'll grab. So all the ones I've ever, I, actually the first time I ever had owned one, I had won it in a raffle. But all the ones, including that one that I've ever bought or won, have looked like this in the box. So you can see like some better packaging. Same dimensions, all that. They just kind of, I think, upped it in terms of what this looks like. Um, I'll open up. I did read the little tag, and you know, just what I wanted to do was see um, how similar it was to the past tags. Um, they <sighs> kind of bums me out. Used to get a free glass, one of these guys, so proper glassware hashtag, um, with the purchase, and like it was just kind of like after you drop so much money, kind of like yeah, at least I got like a really sweet glass out of it for free. Um, according to this, it looks like I can buy one, but I already have three that I got for free, so I'm not really trying to, or I shouldn't say, well, the one was free because I won the raffle, but there are two, you know, were included with the purchase. Um, but anyway, so yeah, <clears throat> the story is pretty similar. Um, it's broken up a little nicer that actually, like, it tells like the, you know, when I started this brewery, I wanted to, you know, brew my great grandfather, my grandfather's, you know, Boston lager, blah, 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 blah. Then it's kind of like broken up into brewing and conditioning. It's like what's, how the beer's made. That part I'll, I'll delve into a little bit more. Uh, the bottle itself, which is the same bottle, same kind of bottle. Um, and then the, um, you know, how to get the glass and how they partnered up to build, to make the glass. Um, <clears throat> so probably the only thing that's really worth reading is what goes into this 2019 vintage. Um, so I'll skip all the other stuff. Uh, Utopia 2019 is a blend of earlier batches of our extreme beers that we held in reserve for just this purpose. In fact, some of the beer dates back 26 years and has been aging in wooden bourbon casks from Buffalo Trace Distillery. We take a portion of this beer and transfer to Aquavit, which I don't know what that is, uh, what, what kind of liquid that is and what kind of a, a barrel that would produce um, in terms of like flavor profiles and things like that. Uh, another one I don't know, uh, Carcovelos, I'm probably mispronouncing that. And hey, something I know, Ruby Port Barrels. I love port, so there's finally something I know. Uh, unique to this year's release, we experimented with using Cognac, which I know, and Madeira, which I don't know, finishing barrels. Um, for as much as I love beer and bur beers aged in barrels, um, I really need to dive into more spirits and kind of up that uh, part of my uh, palate for sure. Um, I lost my spot. Here we go. The additional step, uh, I'm sorry, this additional step enhances the 2019 Utopias with distinct vanilla notes, which I'm very excited about. Love vanilla and the vanilla notes that barrels can give. Um, and add subtle nutty and elegant dark fruit aromas. Definitely on board for both those things. As a final step, and to add a slight tart note, we blend in a touch of our Cosmic Mother Funk, a unique sour ale we ferment for two years in Hungarian oak uh, fooders, fooders, how you pronounce it, at our Boston brewery. We are proud of the enhancement to the 2019 version of Utopias. Uh, it has a subtle sweetness balanced by a slight tartness, which I think probably that, I would love to try without that tartness, but I think it probably does help balance out the bigness and the sweetness of this beer. Um, uh, dark fruit flavors and a deep, rich, multi smoothness that puts it in a class with world's. I'm sorry, with the world's fine uh, after dinner wines and liqueurs. That over here for now. All right, that's pretty good. Yep. See, it looks like all the other ones. Um, actually, there was one more thing I was going to say. It's 28. It's written down here it says 28% ABV. Uh, also mentions the uh, maple syrup. 
which is not mentioned on that card, but it also mentions the barrels, which is mentioned on the card. So I'll put that over here. Typical, it's got the little flaps. That actually might be a little different, just in case you're interested. <laughs> now I'm a little interested. I told you it's gonna be kind of a long one. So if, you're, if you don't want any of this, just fast forward to where I'm uh, doing the actual review. Um, yeah, it's actually, it is different. Can't believe I'm getting this nerdy about it. Um, so yeah, the current one, it's darker. It's almost like they swapped out the color scheme, like what was light and the other one is dark in this one. Set that down for now. All right. Um, yeah, 2019, I'm not lying to you. Pause for dramatic effect. All right, let's get this going. Black cap, let you know it's their high ABV series. Um, I believe they give every, I was actually wondering about this. I'm pretty sure I read a while ago, they give every employee of Sam Adams a bottle of this. And I'm wondering, and I'm not making a joke or trying to be funny, but like, I wonder like with the merger with Dogfish Head, if they're extending it to those people um, or not. If you happen to know, I'm, I'm super curious. Like, I'm not making a joke or trying to be funny. Like I'm just, I'm wondering like with the merger, if how much they're running the company separately or, or as one entity. Little bit of hiss I kind of talked over, I'm sorry. Um, I'm kind of Wow. I'm already getting that vanilla maple syrup and bourbon. Pretty far from my nose. Wow, okay. The nice thing about this shape too, besides it looking cool and having that, you know, the beer uh, mash, you know, vibe, is it helps decant the uh, beer. And it is a technically, it is a beer uh, when you're pouring. All right. I'm going to lick this just so you know. So It's expensive. I'm getting every drop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I'm not going to tell this story the first time I had it. I'll, I probably should make a separate video. But again, like my friends and I who had it at that um, time, this would have been, what, maybe 12 years ago. Um it really blew our minds. And I've really been chasing that kind of experience again. You never have that first experience a second time. But anyway, this is what it looks like, you know, dark brown, or not, I shouldn't say dark brown. Um, in the center, it gets to what I would call brown. There is a ruby red tint there, a little bit of orange, the way the light's hitting it. So it's in that vein. Uh, definitely seeing, you know, nice lacing on the glass, or legs on the glass, sorry. I used to doing a review like this one. Um, let's get into the aroma. So definitely hard to hide that ABV, but it's not coming across. I, I always get a little nervous, like, is it going to be medicinal? Is it going to be too much of, like, a, a, a shot of alcohol? Very pleasant warmth without being, um, like, too in-your-face alcohol, at least for my palate or my nose's palate. So, and again, a lot of these barrels, I don't even know what they are. I don't know if those are uh, types or name brands or what. Um, for things I'm aware of, I definitely get that port, super pleasant. The dark fruit that they wrote on the card, for sure. Your raisins, you know, you, you get a little bit of like um, uh, dates, which I really enjoy. Um, man, it's pleasant. That vanilla, like I was saying from far away. Uh, sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, Wow. Ah, there's that maple syrup I got when I opened it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I am a huge maple syrup fan. Uh, I used to help my grandfather make maple syrup, so I'd, I've been drinking real maple syrup my entire life. And uh, you know, when used correctly, I really enjoy that flavor profile in a big beer like this. So I'm really glad it's coming through in the aroma. I I'm kind of searching for that funky tart thing, maybe. Um, and I'm not getting it, so I kind of keep going back. But it is a very pleasant aroma. A little bit of Granny Smith apple coming through as well. Yeah, it's nice. I had, I drank a little bit of another vintage maybe a month ago. And this one, I'm liking the aroma even more than that. Um, which has me excited for the taste. Let's find out. Cheers. I 
I liked it. Good. And I, <laughs> I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but, you know, I, I have a job. Um, I do make money at my job. Um, I don't make crazy money at my job. So this is a big deal to buy something like this. And to go in blind, you know, it's a little nerve wracking. Like, did I just waste a crap ton of money? Um, so the fact that I really enjoy this uh, on the first sip, the aroma, it is making me very happy right now. So let me just have a moment of like, yay, okay. Um, let me take another swig and I'll actually start describing it because that's probably why you came on this uh, video to see what I think about it. For 28%, the warmth is there. The slight alcohol burn I would expect is there. Does not drink like a straight shot, so I like that. Similarities to the aroma, the port is coming through for me. I'm not, I, I have had cognac, what I'm remembering cognac tasting like, I can see how this would have pulled some of that. But yeah, definitely that vanilla, the maple syrup, which I'm happy about. It's not, it, it's syrupy without, because it has maple syrup in it, I'm saying it's syrupy. It doesn't drink like maple syrup. It's not that sweet. The alcohol, and here's another difference in the aroma, and I'm really glad, is there is a little bit of that tartness, which definitely between the alcohol and the tartness helps balance out the sweetness of a beer. Again, it's weird, so weird to call this a beer. Um, the, the big sweet ABV part of it, and the, the, both those things really help. The, the drying, the, the, the tartness, so it's not just a, a, a big, boozy, sweet mess of a beer. So, so well done, you know, including that cosmic mother funk. Um, the green apple I got in the aroma, I'm not quite getting too much in the taste. Cordial cherry. And again, like... I get so nervous with a beer like this that it could come across medicinal. But the cherry note, I think because it's being paired, at least on my palate, with that chocolate, is it has a cordial cherry, not something like, oh, it's cough syrup, because this is this would be very expensive cough syrup. Um, I'm going to do one more sip, see if I get anything different than I've already described, um, because I'm sure, I can't see what time it is, but I'm sure I've been on this video for a while. It's a little grape juicy, not full on wine, which is interesting because you do get some of the alcohol and, and wood and things that you associate with wine, but it does initially have a little bit of this grape juice thing. And maybe I'm crazy, but in the finish with the, the drying effect of the alcohol, I, I could see some orange liqueur actually. Or like uh, like bitters, you know, for a nice cocktail. I could see that. Off camera, I'm going to look up what these other things are that I don't know. Because I do try to go into these reviews relatively blind. Um, despite having read that beforehand this time. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, as someone who has liked past vintages... Um, uh, I don't, my recollection's not good enough, uh, but based on the one I had about a month ago, I, I'm going to say I really like this, and I think it's a, a, a strong entry. Uh, I can't rank them right now because, again, I don't have the mental capacity to remember exactly all those notes and what I thought about them. But I will say this, this is really good. Am I going to recommend someone spends this kind of money to buy this kind of a beer? No, I don't know your finances. I don't know, you know, things like that. Um, but if you've had other vintages of this and have liked it, I would at least seek it out to try it for sure. Like, I think it really uh, holds up to uh, past vintages. And again, this is the fifth one I've had. Um, and I'm looking forward to, because what's so cool about this is caps on it. I can, you know, keep it, age it, sip on it once a year if I want, uh, share it with some people. So, yeah. Well done, Sam Adams, and let me know if the people at Dogfish had also get their bottles. Um, have you had this? Super curious, obviously, especially something like this. That's uh, not a lot of people are probably going to try. Uh, what your thoughts are? 
Um, you know, and again, I have more of it, so it's cool. Like if you got like a big note of something, I would love to open this up, pour a little bit more out, and kind of see if I get the same thing you did. So definitely let me know in the comment section if you've had it before. Uh, feel free in the comment section to tell me how I wasted my money. This is so stupid. I can't believe this bald-headed idiot would waste money, and, and uh, he has two kids in college. What's he doing this for? Uh, so feel free to be that guy or girl in the comment section as well. Uh, <laughs> or keep it nice. Who knows? Whatever. Put some positivity out in the world. Um, but yeah, uh, check me out on Instagram on Tapped. There's also no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, spend a crap ton of money on beer. Cheers.